I felt a, a kind of calling that happens in me in the, at various times, and I've been having this sense like uh, we've got to go right into it. And, and I didn't just see it as a, a single person mission or something like that. I saw it as a we, those of us who want violence and uh, war and things like that to, to stop. There's your garlic. We know they got garlic, huh? <laughs> How long have you been here? Here, uh, since 16 years. 16 years? Yeah. And how did you Before get? that, uh, I was in ICRC Public Center. He was in, in Hayatawat. Another hospital. Another hospital. Yes. Were you able to get a wheelchair in the other hospital? Yeah. And you have a good uh, grip in your hands. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 well, this one? Uh, uh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> See, now this, is, this man would be a great candidate to train to, make, to fix the wheelchairs because he has, he has good strength in his upper body yeah. and he is, you know, good brain, yeah. intelligent. Uh -huh. And uh, he could be trained and then he could, because uh, now you have no job. Yeah. You have a job? Yeah. What do you do? Tailoring. 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 Tailor. Oh, a tailor. tailor. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to change your occupation for you. <laughs> I saw it in this particular situation as the willingness to go in the middle of it and just to actually start talking and meeting and in some ways getting in the midst of it. People who, who want the peace. <laughs> 